Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about Big Brain Academy, Brain vs. Brain on the Nintendo Switch. It is December 3rd, 2021 and I just got this digital download of the game a little bit after midnight last night and here are my impressions so far. First up, it's really solid. It's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you checking out the free demo on the Nintendo Switch eShop if you have not already done so. It gives you a few mini games. There are 20 in total and you could play them one at a time or randomly assorted to kind of get your big brain weight, which you know could be in the 2000s, 3000s, 4000s, uh, whatever it may be. There's a good variety of games. There are five different categories, four games per category. There's a more difficult category that you could unlock, a different mode. There's a versus mode that you could play with two people on one Nintendo Switch. You know, one person occupying this half, the other person occupying this half, and it being touchscreen. If you prop up your Nintendo Switch like this, whether it's with the OLED model or the base Nintendo Switch model, and then you could have, you know, Joy-Cons off to the side, or even play up to four people on one Nintendo Switch screen, that is, of course, uh, with Pro Controllers or whatever have you. Or, you know, play it docked on TV on your big screen and have four people on the couch. The game also has an online component, which is pretty cool, and that is by Ghost Save Data. So it feels like you're pretty much playing against a person live, but it's actually against his or her former record that they played on their own in solo player mode, in which it just happened to go onto the internet and you're playing against it. And that's really fun. And that's what I've been doing right now. I tried out the game and all the different mini games and had a good time with that. Played versus mode with my wife a bunch. Um, my son and daughter are going to hop on and make profiles on the main version. So far they've only played the demo, but uh, they'll hop on this as well, you know. The four of us liked playing together. And you could also challenge people's full five run circuit of their brain weight. And your rank goes up. So this is my rank right now, for instance. I just won a battle a moment ago. You can see the top left right there. It says December 3rd, 2021. Or it's actually the top right because I'm holding it this way. Um, and it says the, De the December Big Brain World Ranking. I am 146. So there are, you know, thousands and thousands of people who have probably purchased this game on a day one within the first, uh, you know, 22 hours or so of availability. Now, obviously, it's not, you know, 93 million plus Nintendo Switch owners that all bought the game and that they're all playing online. And I could say, hey, I'm 146th best in the world out of 93, 97 million Nintendo Switch owners. No. It's just of who purchased Big Brain Academy, Brain vs. Brain, and if you were willing to share your data online, because you could opt out of that. Like, if you want to play the game but don't want to have your data going up to the cloud, you don't have to. I should note that there are no names that you see of other people, though. So, you know, I usually go by Paul Gale or Paul Gale Network in titles and... You know, in this case, you have a little avatar character, kind of like a me, but, you know, different. And a whole bunch of different costumes that you, you could unlock along the way for uh, nailing certain scores and just beating people or even playing against them, uh, re receiving medals in certain titles that you're playing, certain um, mini games, I should say, what have you. But you don't actually see their name. You see their age, what's their occupation, a little slogan and what they do for a living if they want which yeah goes into occupation and what country they're from so you know i'm from the united states i'm 38 years old i'm self-employed and uh, my slogan is i like to talk a lot or my gift is talking something like that you also have in addition to what is my 
placement in the world of people who own this game, 146th, is also my trophy score, which is 1,712. So the trophy score is what you receive from beating people, and different people have a different level of trophy points that you beat. It gets more difficult the further down you get because obviously the competition is made up of more fierce folks. Just how many are playing? That's unknown. I guess the only way to find out is like, okay, right now with a different profile, sign on, enter one ghost data and lose on purpose or win, right? Win by a little bit, whatever. And then maybe like, okay, you're 50,000th. Oh, so that means there are at least 50,000 people, maybe a little bit more, but how many? Like I said, I don't know. I got it day one. There are more than several thousand. I know that for sure because when I started my file and my wife started, her, started hers, we both saw that there were, okay, were several thousand already playing. So we just crept down, crept down, crept down. I'm 146. She is... Uh, in the 100s as well. Let's see. This is what it looks like, by the way, when you're selecting ghost data. After you get a check mark, it shows that you have beaten that person. Um, if it's grayed out, you can reselect it. You could even push X and you know reselect the battle over and over again if you want. Like if you like a particular thing, because it goes in the, into the different categories and you may want to play compute a few times over before moving on. You can do that. Um, here's uh, world ghosts, right? And we've got friend ghosts, family ghosts, search by ID. If you want to play against my ghosts, my ghost ID is 8GJ7DHW. I'll put that right up there for a moment. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you online. Uh, you get little coins that add up to receive a gift. The gift like you see right here in that top right is what unlocks your costumes that you could wear. That's pretty fun. Here's what I'm talking about. Appearance, you could switch through, cycle through. And, you know, at any time you could modify your face, your hair, facial hair, then you unlock things like clothes, hats, eyeglassware, I showed you clash, you got rankings, and rankings you could have, you know, different friends and compared to who you've played, who's on your Nintendo Switch, etc. Options, I actually haven't gone into options, so let's see. You can change your style and other details in your profile here. Okay, well, here's what I I have. Oh, so catchphrase. Catchphrase was, yeah, talking is my superpower. So that's kind of funny. And style. Sprout support is something on here. Mine is off, but what sprout support is is if you're playing with uh, novice players or children, maybe younger kids, you can put Sprout support on on or off. If it's on, it's going to make it a little bit easier. So these crazy, obscure, uh, challenging questions, these challenging elements in the puzzle aren't gonna pop up. So it kind of makes it a little bit more friendly, a little bit scaled down in difficulty, which I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you have a test to, tra to uh, try out your big brain brawn and see how high you are. You've got different practice modes. Um, see where you're excelling and where you're struggling and you know work to improve there. I already have some uh, platinums and some are you know extra high because hey I didn't get to have access to everything in the demo but this game is showing me like oh this is what I'm extra good at. Uh, one of my favorites is analyze section heavyweight. There's what there's what a uh, five star platinum looks like. That's a 1220 score. 
and that's the highest that you could get in the game but the game makes you feel good because you could get a bronze medal you could get well actually i don't know if you could get bronze but you could get a silver medal so that's cool and you could get silver with different number of stars gold with different number of stars and then platinum which i think is just a five star platinum shiny rainbowy kind of a metal i don't know if there is a bronze actually but you know it's not too hard to get a gold with one star and that still feels like something so i think that for 30 dollars, it's definitely well worth it it's interesting to say well how do you rate it what's the score because i love it and I think it's worth the 30 bucks because having a game like this almost feels like a Tetris 99 kind of where it's fun, it's educational, it's stimulating, it's challenging you to learn something new. You will get better even in the categories that you know you might be more dominant in this side of the brain than this side of the brain. You could improve in everything. And depending on how old you are and what you do for a living, are you still learning new things in life? Are you someone who naturally just reads often or stimulates yourself with brand new hobbies that you're picking up? If you're a student, that's the time of your life that your brain is booming. Whatever class you're taking in your major, outside of your major, whether you're in middle school, elementary, high school, university, etc., that's when you're always learning new things. Some people in the job life, they're doing their job. They're good at it. Everything's proficient and fine. But are you still learning you? Maybe if you're teaching, you're still learning by teaching it. But uh, unless if you're constantly reading in life or stimulating yourself with other new hobbies, martial arts, for instance, the brain slowly starts to slow down. Something like this is pretty cool. So if you like video games and if you value your brain and you like to have fun, but also want to keep yourself fresh and challenge it, definitely recommend it for what it does i'm a big advocate of health fitness uh you know brain boosting stuff i liked we fit back in the day i love ring fit adventure i liked the original big big brain academy and i'm a really big fan of uh, brain versus brain so you know not to just throw it out there and say 10 out of 10 but uh because as a game it's really good it could have some uh, more features perhaps Maybe if Nintendo wants to, you know, incentivize people to play it, they have records based off of months. Like this is, you know, month one, it's day one, it's December, and we'll see who's the best in the world at the end of the month. It goes through month by month. But if once in a while they want to incentivize people with a contest and say, hey, if you could finish up in the top, whatever, you'll get some eShop money, like a little platinum coin reward or maybe the more valuable perhaps gold coin award added to your name that's kind of cool uh it's pretty good so as a game it's good i wouldn't necessarily say a 10 but in its value if its value is giving you significant improvement to your mental health and your awareness and boosting up other categories well, that's a 10 right there, right? So its value is a little bit different than the game build, the quality. But from that metric, nothing is wrong with it. You know, no loading, no uh, bad graphics or any kind of blur or poor controls or anything. I will say on the control side of things though, it is more accurate to use the touch screen than to use an analog stick and go up, down, left, or right. In some games, do just go up, down, left, or right and hit A. Not only is that a little bit slower though than touching the screen, but if you're using a directional pad, one of these buttons, for instance, it's a little bit better than the analog stick because you could just accidentally go bottom left or top right instead of just going bottom or left or top or right. And in some games like Balloon Pop, you've got a lot of things floating all around. So you have to kind of just roll the stick into the direction which works like vast majority of the time if you're playing four players on the tv you know that's gonna be it because you can't do touch screen on the tv and you might have a couple of cases relatively small percentage of the time i think where someone's saying like oh i didn't mean to push that but hey that's okay if you're trying to compete for high scores and stuff 
probably portable mode is the way to go. But yeah, not exactly a, a review, but kind of a review, you know? Uh, that's pretty much my words on this right now. You see right there, currently a 146 best in the world with a 1712 metal and a current big brain brawn at 3132 with a brain grade of S minus. I expect that to go up. I am motivated. All right, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com signing out. Hope you had a fun time watching. I had a fun time talking to you about the game. Take it easy. Bye.